Maybe that's why they said it's not a toy, because toys are supposed to be fun. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. A little while ago I tested out this 3D printing pen. Oh that sounds weird. And I didn't think it was particularly great. I just can't get away with them. I just think they're shite. So I clearly haven't learnt my lesson and today I'm going to be reviewing another 3D printing pen. However, this time it 3D prints with candy. Now that's something that I can get on board with. That's going to win us over. I've got quite the sweet tooth. Okay, so this is the one that I bought and it's Polaroid Candy Play 3D pen. Only at Menkind. And I tried to find it elsewhere, but I could only find it on Menkind. And it cost me 35 quid, which I think is quite expensive for a little 3D pen. And looking at some of the images, it's very similar to the 3D pen I had last time, but obviously this time I can eat what I make. It says that I can draw in 3D using edible candy, has six colors and flavors available. It's sugar-free and suitable for vegans and lots of other stuff. I did buy their extra refill cartridges as well, so I had some more flavors to play around with. And that cost me another 23 pound on top of what I've already spent. So this has cost quite a lot of money for what it is. Hopefully it's gonna be worth it. It doesn't have any reviews yet, so I think I'm going to be the first one. I also find it a little bit unusual that it's by Polaroid, and that's the company that designs cameras and stuff. Do they still do cameras? I didn't even realize Polaroid still existed. Kind of like Kodak, does that still exist? It's like them kind of companies that just didn't keep up with the times, did they? Similar to like Blockbuster and stuff. I've got a little video, but it's not going to play. Why won't you play on my phone? Okay, I found the video. Them cartridges look really small, and I've paid that amount of money for them. I don't feel like they're gonna last very long, are they? All right, well, that was nice. I might try and make one of the flowers that they made in their video. I'm really, really curious as well to see what it tastes like. I also find it weird that it only prints in translucent candy. You can't get opaque, so that's quite limiting. But anyway, we'll open it up, we'll see what it's like, and see if I feel any differently about this one then I did the last one. Okay, so these are the boxes here, and it's very Polaroid themed. It's definitely got that brand in, hasn't it? Especially with the little colored stripes, and you've got them on the top there as well. I just can't believe how much this costs. 30 odd pound for this, 20 odd pound for this. So this thing in total cost me, I don't know how much, like over 50 quid? No wonder I never have any money. All right, let's see what it's like. I'll open this little refill pack as well, because I think I'm gonna need it. Okay, so straight away, these little candy sticks that are used for the 3D printing are so small. They're not gonna last a long time at all. And it costs 20 odd quid for a pack of refills. If you were like hardcore into this, it's gonna be a very expensive hobby for you. But the pen does come with one tiny little packet. And I think it's a bit stingy for them just to provide that. They could have at least put three in. I think that would be nice. I'll just have a little read of the instructions. Yeah, also it doesn't come with a plug, so it's just a USB cable. Fortunately, my little power adapter there has a USB thing. It says on here that this product is not a toy, which I find quite strange. I think it is a toy. But you have to be over the ages of 14 to use it, unless you've got adult supervision. I'll be all right. Okay, so this metal bar thing is called a piston. I think you put it in here somewhere and it forces the little candy sticks to go down. That's how it works. Oh no, that's not the piston. That's the finishing cartridge. So you put that in when you wanna get all the candy out, I think. All right, I think I just wanna start playing with it. I hate reading instructions. Okay, so inside of here, that's where you put the candy sticks. It says I need to do it on greaseproof paper. Should I go get some or will it be all right on my table? I'll go get some greaseproof paper just in case. All right, let's get this plugged in, see what it's like. It doesn't want to turn on. Oh, it wasn't plugged in properly, I don't think. Ah, there we go. Okay, put some candy in as well first. What flavor do I want to go for? I'll go for strawberry. Doesn't smell of anything. So this just goes in here. There's like a red thing blocking the cartridge bit. I can't get the cartridge in. How do I move that back up? Open the loading point, insert the in the loading. So if you look in there, that's the piston thing, this red thing, and that forces its way down and forces the candy to come out. And then once all the candies come out, then it fires back up. So I've just pressed it, hoping that it'll go all the way down and then go back up so I can fit the cartridge in. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> it's not as noisy as the other one. The other one was really loud. 
Ah, see, it's going back up now. It's a little louder when it goes back up. I'm hoping it goes all the way to the top. Yeah, yeah, it did. I knew I was right. Yeah. So now I can fit the cartridge in. Okay, it's in. So I think we're gonna go for a flower, aren't we? See how this goes. Nothing's, nothing's coming out yet. Nothing's happening still. I'm shocked nothing's come out yet. I'm getting very impatient. Where's the candy? It just disappeared. The piston's almost all the way down now. The piston's on its way back up. Where did the candy disappear to? It might take two. Ah, try another one. Right, I'll load it again. So far, I would say that this 3D pen is a lot slower than the last 3D pen. The last 3D pen was pretty instant. It just started firing out. This one, it's taking its time. It's been 84 years. Oh, I can see something coming out. Ah, oh, here we go. It's happening. Oh, now we're getting there. Oh, it's going fast. What am I doing, flowers? The last 3D pen as well had a speed setting. This is just one speed, so you have to keep up with it. I don't think my flower's looking too good. It just almost looks like a splat. So I need to put another one in already. This takes so much candy to get barely anything out of it. What the hell? What I've done there, that is one entire candy stick. <laughs> This is such a rip-off, it really is. How did I fall for this? It is so slow. Ah, oh, here we go. It's about time. I think they're a little... It's starting to go up again. That's two candy sticks. That's bullshit, that like. I was just about to say, I think their little advert that they had, their little video was a lie. Because it seemed to be just so seamless and so quick. And it's not. Now we've just got to refill it and wait for the piston to push the candy all the way back down. Oh, I was supposed to fold it as well, wasn't I? Okay, well I can kind of fold it still. The thing is, if this isn't a toy and it's not marketed as a toy, like they said, what what is it? Do they think professional bakers or something would use this? I don't think they will. I think there's way easier techniques to get kind of spun sugar work and stuff than using a 3D printing pen. It's just a novelty basically, isn't it? And I've fallen for it. It almost Sounds like it's dying. Sounds like it has had enough. Oh, and it's gone back up again. Excuse you. I think that took me about five minutes to make. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it, just, it just doesn't, it doesn't look good. I'll have to wait till it cools a bit. I'm very upset I've wasted my money on this. That's what I've made. I don't know, what would you call it? Like just, just a blob. It's just a weird blob, a really ugly blob that took me about just under 10 minutes to make. Ah well, well. Ah well, well. Ah well, well. We'll try another color. May as well. Oh, well, well. The thing is, I know I'm going to put this orange one in and the red's going to come out again. So I might have to wait till the red's done. I hope these at least taste good. That'll be the only redeeming quality of this thing. Yeah, so the red's just still coming out. So I'm just going to add an extra layer on top of this one until the orange starts to appear. I will say, I thought this was going to be a way more exciting thing than it is. It just feels very just laborious and boring. I'm not entertained by it. Maybe that's why they said it's not a toy, because toys are supposed to be fun. Okay, so that must be all the red out, and then orange should be coming up next. So I just want to make another flower, and then we can stick these two flowers together. I'm just going to try one on its own while I wait for that, see what this is like. I'm not sure what flavour the green is. I think it's apple. Also, I don't think the colours are particularly vibrant. Maybe it's because it's transparent. The one I've got in my mouth at the minute, I think it's apple, but it doesn't have a lot of flavour. It just tastes like sugar. It's also a very hard candy. It doesn't go soft or anything. It stays quite hard, like, you can still see it there. It just tastes like I've literally got a lump of sugar in my mouth. Okay, well, there's another flower done. Just wait for it to cool down a bit and then we'll join them. Oh, I've just broke it. I tried to bend it up and it's just completely broken off. I'll have to glue it back together. I think you have to be quick with the bending and you can't leave it too long, otherwise it goes hard. And then it's just not, what's that word? Not manageable. There's a word I'm thinking of and it means like flexible, but it's not flexible. And I can't remember the word. I keep thinking it's imaginable and that's not the word I'm thinking of. M malleable, malleable? Is that the word I'm thinking of? Malleable. Malleable. I think the word I'm thinking of is malleable. But it, does, it doesn't move once it's set. It just breaks. Oh, that's cute. That just came out of the pen. I've made like a little... Oh, whatever. I can't be asked. Hmm. 
The orange tastes nice. I just put some of the orange in. That's got a bit of flavor to it. Way more flavor than the green one. Right, let's glue these together and see what my final flower looks like. I'll let that set. I was thinking about doing like a nice little scene, like a landscape on here, but there's no blue. I wanted to do like a beachy scene. And also the issue is, once you've put one of these in, you can't basically get it back out. You have to use the entire thing for what you're doing. So you can't like switch and swap colors as quickly or as efficiently as you can with a 3D printing pen, like a regular one. It's just a pain in the ass, really. My flower's set though, doesn't it look nice? That's my flower. And if you hold it like this, you know when you feel something slowly starting to flop, you can feel it flopping. And it's very sticky as well. I'm gonna have a little taste test of my flower just to see what it's like. Mmm. Oh, crunchy. It doesn't even taste good. No, I'm ready for the review. I'm ready to slag it off. All right, so I'm gonna give this Polaroid Candy Play 3D pen a very, very generous, one awful 3D printed flower out of five. I thought the product itself was completely overpriced. I thought the product took forever to actually make anything. I thought it was very limiting as to what you can actually do with it. They said it wasn't a toy. And yeah, it's not a toy because it wasn't fun. It wasn't an enjoyable experience. It was awful. And also it didn't taste good. I'm surprised I honestly even gave it one out of five. That should really be given it zero, but I'm feeling very generous and that's why it gets one. And I think the only reason it gets one is because it worked. It did what it said it did but what it did was crap. If you find anyone on the internet who gives this thing a generous review, they are either very easily pleased or they are being paid by Polaroid to promote their product because just don't, just please don't waste your money on it. I'll be shocked if anyone disagrees and says that this is entertaining, this is fun, this is worth the money, because neither of them things are true. I'll, I'll not back down on it, I really won't. But let me know what your thoughts are on this Polaroid 3D print and candy pen down below. And if Polaroid wanna get in touch with us and give us my money back, I'll be more than happy to accept it because I feel like you've stolen from us. I think this is the most upset I've ever been with any product in my entire life actually. I'm trying to think if there's been anything close. I even preferred the other 3D printing pen to this one and that just printed in plastic. This prints in candy. This is supposed to be like wow and it's not. It's just like Blah. But if you did enjoy today's video and enjoyed the fact that I've potentially saved you from wasting your money if you ever thought about buying this product, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you next week for a brand new video. What am I going to do with all of these now? I suppose I could eat them but they don't taste very nice.